Hi there, and uh, welcome to another episode of the Bionic Watercolorist. And so today, we've got a new project. We've got pencil crayons. So I did promise this. I uh, said that during our emergency kit uh, broadcast that, uh, that I would indeed introduce you to color. Now, we've been working with black and white. The color here, just to represent, you know, the, the different moon and the, you know, the different suns. And now we're going to get rid of that and we're going to use color. And the same thing that we're going to use with the black and the white here and here. Now what you use is color intensity. And we're going to see that as we do the new project. So things are going to be fairly similar. At the beginning of this, we're going to put our pencils down and here is our piece of paper. And as uh, usual, we're going to uh, figure out where we want to put a horizon line. And so I think the I like the railroad track one. If you see this episode, this one was uh, the railroad track, and our focal point was in the middle. We had the horizon line in the middle of the page, and I'm thinking that we're going to try and do. A mountain lake. So, what we need to do we're gonna go halfway Hmm, trying to figure out which is the best way to go. Yeah, so we're going to go this way.
So if you haven't figured out what's going on yet, this is the lake. Now, this is the road. So the road, obviously, go, going around the lake. And we've got the mountain. I always like these ones that, you know, kind of go over the edge. Now, the one interesting thing that we have to do, and I should show you a little trick, and maybe we can do it. No, we can't. I'm going to show you this trick properly. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to basically just mirror because what is that? That right here is the reflection of this in water. So we see that. Now usually when you do your shadows or your reflections, you have to uh, make sure that they fall vertically the same. Now you can use a technique that I'm going to show you later using a piece of colored plexiglass and you put it up like a mirror and it reflects it and then you can just trace it. You get an absolutely perfect reflection every time. But we're going to do this just for now. Um, Another type of mountain. Now, remember the bedding plane argument. And, uh, So, same sort of thing. Looks familiar. We're going to put some uh, clouds in here. So we're going to put one. There's one. And there, and there, same thing. Remember in our moon uh, exercise, we started out and we did it bigger. So we're going to color these in such a way that these things will look further away. So just as we do that in here, you know, where we make them look, we're going to use, instead of using the black and white shading to pull it this way, we're going to use color intensity. And... So that's, uh, that's where we're going to go. So this is where we leave it. Now I want you to draw something like this. Just imagine you got it. You can do it the other way. You can start here and you, you know, you can do whatever you want. What we're looking at is a road. 
We're, we've got a ditch. This ditch is actually not a ditch. So what we're do, going to do Just put some texture in here. What we're doing is making little circles. Well, sort of circles. Circle-ish. And all this is is a rock file. So this is the shore. And of course, as you get closer, and of course, it takes a while. You know, this thing doesn't happen overnight. But that's why we're in the middle of a pandemic. We got nothing to do. And so we're going to watch some guy draw circles. But anyway, you've seen what I'm talking about. That's, that's your pile of rocks now. Okay, this is your reflection. So if we're going to put, you know, reflection... There's your reflection. What we're going to do is we're going to put a color in for the water, the reflection first, and then the water over top of it. And then the mountains, we're just going to color in, you know, this. We're just going to put that in there. That's the tree line. So at about eight, nine thousand feet, the uh, the trees stop to grow, and so that's why you always see in the Rockies anyway. You always see, you know, the trees go up to a certain point and then they just stop, and that's got to do with the elevation. And so we're going to go and we're going to just pull all this together. And so thank you very much. And we'll see you on another episode of the Bionic Watercolors.